Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at lossless scaling freezing on a particular frame when you're using it for upscaling. So if you're playing the game, it'll just freeze on a single frame and the game will run in the background. And in this video, we're going to go through some of the options you can change to reduce this problem and pretty much solve it in a lot of cases as well. So there's quite a few things to cover here, but first there's some basic stuff I want to go over before we start. So the first and most important thing here is to know that you can't really use this with something like flawless widescreen. I know if you're running flawless widescreen and trying to use lossless scaling it ends up freezing a lot of the time and there's generally not much you can do to fix it so you're either going to have to pick one or the other a couple of other things to mention before we go into the actual fixes is that armory crate and similar software like msi control center gigabyte control center and pretty much any other kind of rgb software or stuff like this will cause problems with it a lot of the time and you're also going to want to make sure you have your gpu drivers up to date your bios up to date and just disable any overlays like steam overlay g GeForce Experience if you're still using that or the Nvidia app, Discord, River Tuner, and what else. So basically just disable all the junk and then slowly enable them once you've got some settings updated in lossless scaling and you should be able to figure out the exact thing that's causing the problem. But once you've done all that, we're gonna go into the actual fixes that do make a difference. So the first thing we're going to start with is frame generation. So a lot of people have noticed that if you're using the 3.1 version, it seems to be more problematic on a lot of devices. So just switch back down to 2.3 and then just go through the modes until you find the most stable one that works for you. The same for flow scale as well. Generally something between the 65 and 75 seems to work well, but again, you're gonna need to check that for your system. Then we've also got the capture option here. So by default, it's generally on DXGI. So switch that to WGC. And then again, set your queue target to something that is actually stable, but you're just gonna need to work out which one works best for your computer as always. And then when we go over to rendering, there is an option here for HDR support. I don't personally use it. Some people have said it's a problem. I can't verify that. So if you do use HDR and you do have problems, just try flipping that toggle on or off as well. Now jumping over to in-game settings, you also wanna cap your in-game FPS. So if you're using lossless scaling, try something that's about half your monitor refresh rate. So if your monitor is 144 hertz, just change it down to something like 72, cap it at that, and then you should be able to run lossless scaling a little bit more stable. You should also disable VSync in the game, then jump over to lossless scaling and go to rendering, then go to sync mode, and then choose one of the options in here. Generally, this seems to work better and it should reduce any crashing issues that you might be having. Again, this goes for the HDR option as well. If you're using it in game, disable it and just rely on lossless scaling to do it as well. Anyway, that pretty much covers covers most of the options that you can use to figure this out. But as always, every system is gonna be different. So just use this as a rough guide and then work your way through lossless scaling settings to figure out the exact optimized settings for your computer. Anyway, I hope that helps you narrow down the issue and potentially fix it entirely. And if you do find this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Cheers everyone.